Hey, welcome back to Beard Squared. In this video, we're going to be learning about the gradient of perpendicular lines. Coming up. So let's tackle a question. It says the lines PQ and RS are perpendicular. You can see these lines here. That's PQ and that's RS. Find the gradient of each line and then B, multiply the gradients in A. What we're going to do is in order to find the gradient, we'll use the gradient formula, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We start off with the line PQ. We can see that we've got two coordinate points that they've given us. One is minus 3 comma minus 1 and then 3 comma 1. So we can use those two points to work out the gradient. So if I label those x1, y1, x2 and y2 respectively, I can substitute those values into my formula. So y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus a negative 1. And then x2 minus x1, which is 3 minus a negative 3. That gives us 2 over 6, which can be simplified to 1 third. So the gradient of line PQ is 1 third. Now if we look at line RS, we have two coordinates, minus 1, comma 3, and 1, comma minus 3. Again, if I label those respectively, I can substitute those values into the gradient formula. So minus 3, minus 3, and then 1, minus a negative 1, which will give me minus 6 over 2, which is simplified down to minus 3. So that's the gradient of line RS. Now part B says multiply the gradients in A. So we're gonna multiply these two gradients. So let's make a bit of space here and we can do a third times minus three, which gives us minus one. And therefore we can conclude that the product of the gradients of perpendicular lines is equal to negative one. In fact, we can further summarize this by saying that the gradients of perpendicular lines are always negative reciprocals. So PQ has a gradient of a third and RS, which is perpendicular, i.e. it intersects at 90 degrees, has a gradient of minus three, which is the negative reciprocal of PQ. I would suggest pausing the video here and making these two notes in your copy book so we can move on to another question. So let's do this question here. It says, consider the line y equals five over two x plus one and y equals mx minus three. Write down the gradient of each line and part B, find M, i.e. the gradient, if the lines are parallel and perpendicular. So part A then, write the gradient of each line. Well, 5 over 2x plus 1, so the gradient is 5 over 2. Since the equation is written in standard form, we don't need to manipulate anything. Now for y equals mx minus 3, the gradient here is just M. We don't have a value for M, we just know that it's the variable M. Pause the video here and try part B for yourself. Find M if the lines are parallel and perpendicular. So if these two equations were parallel, what would M be? And if they were perpendicular, what would M be then? So this is what I've got. If I draw a Cartesian plane and I draw two lines, these two lines are parallel. Now since they're parallel, the slopes or the gradients have the exact same value. They have the same measure of steepness. So in that case, since parallel lines have the same equal gradient, that would mean that the value of m would be 5 over 2, exactly the same as the original equation, since they're both parallel and they have the same gradient. Now for perpendicular lines, we learned from the previous slide that they intersect at 90 degrees and that the gradients are negative reciprocals. So if the original gradient is 5 over 2, the negative reciprocal would be negative 2 over 5. That would be the gradient for the perpendicular line. As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And I'll see you in the next one.